As we near the end of our Traxxas slash upgrade project with various upgrades already installed, now we're looking at reducing body roll when cornering by installing the Traxxas 6898 sway bar kit. Along with the various upgrades already bolted onto our Slash 4x4, the sway bar kit should help when cornering, helping to reduce body roll and keeping the wheels planted to the ground. Within the kit you'll find two sets of sway bars, thinner silver bars used for rougher surfaces with low traction, and slightly thicker black bars used for smoother surfaces with higher traction. Also included are two sets of linkage arms, as well as four screws. Installation begins with assembling the sway bars themselves, I'm going to go with the silver for now. The front sway bar, which is the more squarer of the two, will be connected to the shorter set of linkage arms. One end of each linkage arm contains a set screw, which should be removed and some thread lock applied. Before inserting the sway bar so it's poking out around 5mm or so, and tightening the set screw into position. Repeat the same procedure with the other side of the sway bar. Notice the orientation here, the linkage arms are attached with the screw at the opposite ends facing towards the sway bar itself. That's the front sway bar assembled. And it's a similar procedure with the rear, connecting either end to the longer linkage arms, remembering to add thread lock of course. Here we have the sway bar slanted down towards the front, and the screws on the opposite end of each arm facing towards the sway bar. With both sway bars now assembled, we can proceed to attach them to the vehicle. We'll start with the front end. The sway bar sits on the inside of the vehicle with both linkage arms reaching around the front shock tower and down towards the A arms. These can be installed into the pre-existing holes in either A arm, almost like Traxxas knew you'd be installing the sway bar kit. As we're going into plastic, it's advisable to screw in by hand and not over tighten. Once in place, insert two of the four supplied screws into the chassis front end, keeping the sway bar securely in its notch. That's all there is to it. Front sway bar installed. It's a similar story with the rear, although a little more fiddly. The sway bar sits on the outside here with the two remaining screws holding it in place. While the linkage arms reach to the inside, where pre-existing holes are waiting for the arms to be attached, it's a little fiddly but easier if you temporarily remove one of the shock screws, resulting in the A arm dropping far enough to get to the linkage screw after which you can reattach the shocks. And that's it, sway bar kit successfully installed. You may want to experiment with the silver and the slightly thicker black sway bars, even mixing black and silver on front and rear, to find the setup that best suits your driving style, providing a good degree of tunability. For now though, this should help cornering with little body roll, keeping the vehicle firmly planted to the ground.